So about three years ago I was uh, approached by one of my neighbours who said to me how much to clear this garden. Uh, when, it, when I first come to this garden you can just see just behind the fence how tall the brambles were. Well that's what this garden was like. Uh, it was completely chock-a-block full of brambles, uh, trees and god knows whatever else. And I said, well, what do you have intention to do with the garden? Because I said, like, it will require regular maintenance. And they weren't really interested in it. So I said, well, if you because they've been in this place for a while. And I said, well, if you're not interested in it, I'll take it on if I can utilise the garden. So my plan originally was just to uh, keep the garden reasonably clear. And when I get any green waste or soil waste, I can use this place. As you can see, there's a lot of black bags there of green waste that's come from uh, various properties, uh, mainly chippings and stuff. My intention was to uh, compost it, so that's why I got into composting. I looked how to uh, produce the best compost as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, so I took on this garden. Uh, there wasn't a, any sort of formal contract or anything, it was just a case of. I'll maintain it, uh, keep it keep it tidy, and uh, I can sort of like utilise it. So I had quite a lot of uh, other items come from various gardens, such as uh, edging stones, uh, swings, uh, that kind of stuff. A lot of garden ornaments. I didn't really know what to do with them at first. And then lockdown happened and uh, I decided to do a little bit more with the garden and uh, that's what this video is about what you're seeing here was just me testing the blower um, I didn't really intend to sort of clear all the leaves it was just me uh, just testing the blower out seeing how, how well it worked uh, I'd only just bought this blower I have to say I was blown away by it. Right, so most of the video is uh, just me showing you what I've done, a bit of commentary, uh, and it's just to show you the progress of this garden. Unfortunately, it did have a sting in the tail, uh, which will be in part two. This is part one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this garden taking shape. Still got quite a bit of rubble to get rid of here. I finally finished my border edging. This stone I got from a client uh, rather than throwing it away. I had it in storage for a long time and I thought rather than getting rid of it or just keeping it in storage I'll utilise it for this garden. A small silver birch was there, uh, that's come down and what I've done is while at the depot I've been chipping all their waste and bringing it back. You can see how it slowly gets darker and darker and my plan was this year when I do any bark chipping I have a few bags left over and you can't leave it because it just composts down so I was going to tip it on here but every now and again I'll buy a few bags and just top it up with some bark uh, I've got some sedum there that's come from another client I've got a plant pot that I made uh, a planter that I made quite a while ago I've got a water butt now so I'm slowly collecting water uh, there's not a lot in there <laughs> Uh, I have got a job coming up uh, where I'm going to be getting some quite large established plants and I'm going to throw them in here and hopefully they'll take. Uh, I want to get a trellis for here but I haven't had a chance. Put a trellis across there, a trellis across there and an archway off there. Again, it's down to time and money. Now, time I've got so I do know a place where I can get some free wood if they're still there so I might do that. Plan. Um, so hopefully the, I'm going to prune these as well this year and try and get them to uh, thicken up a little bit. These are all just basically self-seeded. I've got a, a hawthorn here and it's starting to get some leaves on so I might uh, see if I can take some cuttings. I don't know if you can do that. I might take some cuttings from here and uh, try and do something with it. That's a neighbour's garden. He's going to put a fence across there. See this area here, all this area here is going to be just like a rough area. I'm going to try and keep it as natural as possible. Maybe eventually plant some wildflower. I mean, 
Depends if I can survive through all this. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Right, so this is where I'm at with my garden at the moment. I've moved all the junk from here and I've got my mattock out and my little tiller. I haven't got a rotavator. I brought all the chair and everything from around the other end and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this over. I'm going to level it and grass seed it. So I'll show you what it looks like now. My wife is running out of the way fast as I swing round. Arms too fast for you. <laughs> it's not live. It's a recording. So that's what it looks like at the moment. If my my my, my wife can move out of the way. So I'm going to dig it over and then grass seed it. See what happens. And hopefully I'm around to see the fruits of my labour. Oh, that's a lot of it done so far. Matic hacked away, then rotivated. And I've done about a panel's width. This took me about a couple of hours to do that. It's just full of roots, because it, it used to be full of brambles. I mean, it used to look like. I'll show you what it used to look like. It used to look like that. So, uh, I mean, you can see here, look, they're all like, they're like oh, roots, roots, that's from a tree, tree roots, big tree roots, you've got some massive roots now, look, they're going all the way along here, so my intention is to just rotivate it and then maybe next week when I have another couple of days, finish it off and grass seed it, I mean, I'm estimating maybe four hours a uh, full day's work so i've decided I'll try and make the best of a bad situation have a barbecue we normally this is always in the car Ugh. this is always in the car the two chairs and the little table and we sometimes go off and uh, have a drive and if it's really nice weather we'll have a barbecue but yeah, this is where we're having our barbecue today. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm just going to level that off a little bit. I can't... You see, there's a part of me that wants to get this seeded straight away, but the problem is it dips here. Dips there. There's a hole there. It dips really bad there. You see the holes everywhere. And uh, because of that, if I level this off, I'm going to have to get by soil for here, and I don't want to do that. So eventually what I want to do is just amend the soil here with the compost. Get it nice and level. And then carry on here. Hopefully get these two panels done, or these two panel widths there, look. There. Done by the end of the day. And then seed it. Because at least then I get some seed down, and then these two panel widths here. All the way along here. I can do it at a later date, but at least I get something down because it's just, I've only got a day. Uh, next week I'm working. Next week I'm working a lot, so uh, I've got one day next week, and I think the forecast rain, which to be honest we need now. Right, I'm going to get carry on working. Right, so I thought I'd give a quick update on my garden. <sighs> I've tidied it up. All that rubble's gone and as you can see i'm starting to dig around this area i'm hoping to have up to about that line there up to the line prop here all that area grass all this area as you can see i've seeded that area and it's coming along okay i've had a few hiccups because there let's just get it right there and i think it's up there somewhere you can just see there and uh, there's a bit there where foxes keep coming in digging up where I've put the seed so you can see I spilt the seed there and I wish I'd have put as much seed as I spilt there as I did all over because there's areas where it's quite patchy I mean that area there is where the foxes dug so I had to rake all that level and obviously because the grass is still quite weak I was raking up the seedlings 
So I've chucked a load of more seed down and uh, yeah, you can just see over there, look, there's a patch there where the foxes are dug. Uh, so where I'm treading, where I'm standing, all this area will be seeded and I know I should have done it all in one go but when I was digging that it was so hot I just had to keep stopping I was doing like a panel a day uh, along it the soil's not too bad now because I've wet it down and what have you uh, along here I'm gonna have a border uh, not a straight border I hate straight borders my, but then again I don't like cutting grass when there's curvy borders so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna have a border along there a border along there trellis along that way um, now my intention was to buy uh, some bark chippings along here and uh, have all this bark chipped um, this is just stuff that I've chipped at the depot uh, this is old bark chipping so I'll probably just buy a bag each week or something and just dump it on there and eventually all this will be bark chipped and then I'll just plant put the old plant in I've got some uh, there over there I know what they're called I just can't remember I'm terrible with remembering plant names and I've got rid of the box Viburnum comes to name I can't I can't remember I know I'm gonna get it wrong so um, anyway I've got these two plants in here and they're quite large in fact, there is a label I can cheat. I bet I'm wrong. It is viburnum. So I've got a couple of viburnum there, and I'll, I'll put them in there for now. And my intention is to put them along here because they're going to be quite large plants, and uh, they smell really nice. I like really strong smelling plants, so they'll, I'll put a maybe a, a three, three along this area because all this will be trellised off, and maybe some clematis or something uh, at the back. Right back here, I don't want to walk on my seed. Here, I want as wild as uh, my compost heap, and uh, it's just where I'm dumping everything at the moment. I've got a massive compost heap up there that uh, needs sorting out. It's all this stuff there's stones, rocks, rubbish, and all sorts in it, weeds, so soil that just goes there, and eventually, I'll turn it over a few times. Uh, a lot of these saplings I shall thin out a little bit but keep and along here along this fence line <laughs> I might plant uh, a couple of uh, Russian vine oh mile a minute and the reason being is because it stops the kids from climbing over and I think in the autumn it does look quite nice and it will spread like mad so but it's not like any other fast growing stuff I have had it before and it's easy to manage, um, I say easy to manage, you just cut it back and it'll keep growing and growing and growing and it grows really fast. But this area's not really anything of any consequence, this is going to be a lot more wild area. I might even build a bird hide up here, because uh, I like bird watching. Uh, maybe put a bird hide there and watch in this direction because the garden's going to be open. Or maybe put a bird hide here. So I can watch it both ways, who knows? Uh, so this is the update on my garden. And uh, I've got to be careful how much money I spend because this garden doesn't belong to me. It actually belongs to uh, someone in a flat up there. So, and uh, I've took it on, keep it tidy for them. And hopefully I won't get stung for this because uh, I've bought fence panels and uh, they're only cheap ones because I'm not spending too much money. I started painting them <laughs> um, while I watered the lawn, while the grass seeds. So uh, bought some fence panels, put those across, and uh, I'm trying to work out a cheap way of doing this so I don't spend too much money. I think it was something like 50 some odd quid to put a single row of slabs the length of here. So it's 50 quid and I wanted about uh, six rows, eight rows, something like that. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of money. So what I've decided is, is to grass up to here and then put a row of slabs maybe on the outside down there. And then on that side have either gravel or stone chippings. Gravel is going to be cheaper. And because it's got the path separating it, it shouldn't be a problem with the uh, 
because it's got the path separated it shouldn't be the problem with the grass so yeah i might do that gravel's cheaper just pea shingle and uh oh god dear, i tell you what so annoying the amount of rubbish that is in here is unbelievable the amount of bags of rubbish i've took out i mean look bin liners rubbish crisp packets and god knows whatever else because it, it's disgusting typical cat look at bricks a massive lump of concrete there that i can't dig out so i'll leave this in this this old-fashioned mine thing i mean there's the other the other ones up there so i could actually um when i put the trellis up uh, i could actually put a line prop up if i wanted to and maybe i don't want a footpath along here though that's the only thing that separates the grass i think a nice big area of grass is what i want and uh, i've got a swing back there and i i might even do it so the path comes to about here and then comes out a bit a bit of a dep uh, depot a bit of a, a patio and uh, put the swing on here uh, I've got rid of a tree that was there it was a sapling and I'm gonna get rid of that one there and I got rid of a branch uh, you could just see it was hanging over and it was causing so much shade so that has really made a massive difference in here uh, this hedge I should cut just above the fence line there's a, 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 a hawthorn there which I should cut back that's just a, a sapling that's just self-seeded in fact there's a lot of saplings that self-seeded so the trellis will go along there and that'll be more like a hedgeway and uh, I might put some hedging across here I'm debating leyland eye because that's fast growing as well but because I can keep on top of it you know I, I would like it about uh, maybe eight nine foot high to about there give me a bit of privacy I mean if you look here really I want it about that high so it comes up to there so I've got some privacy um, but yeah it's coming along fine and uh, I can't wait to give this a mo maybe a few more weeks yet <laughs> this is probably about two weeks um, so and you can see it, it's very thin in some areas and I've put some more seed down and what have you so with a bit of luck it might thicken up and I'll put some seed down on here and once all this is grow took then I can mow that area so I have to wait another about six weeks for this before I can mow that unless I take my mower around that way and give it a quick cut I don't know we'll see what happens and I know somebody's going to be screaming at the monitor thinking why have you done it like that because I'm impatient simple Addendum. I've dug over this area here. I've started just scraping this area because this is where the footpath's going to be. So I ain't really fussed about digging this area over here up along that straight there. So I've just scraped it so that uh, it just looks tidy. Dug that area over properly and weeded it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do around here because I've got all these roots. If you look here, I've got roots. And God knows whatever else. I, I think I'm going to struggle there. I'm, I mean, I dug them out here. It was just a nightmare. So, for now, I might do the same as what I did there. Just try and dig out as much of this as possible. And uh, this part here will be grass. So I've just got this bit to dig over. But I'm going out today, so... Uh, probably Saturday or Sunday, sometime over the weekend, I'll uh, seed this. Put some more compost down and mix it in with the soil, seed it. So that's what I did here. I put compost down first, mixed it in with the soil a little bit, and then just put the seed on top, mix the seed in, and then put some more seed on just on top. So, uh, as you can see, I went a bit overboard there. <laughs> and it's quite thick here. I'm quite pleased with this, but... Oh, I just... I wish I'd have done the whole lot in one go, but it's just time. So that's where I'm at at the moment. And i tell you what, there's a photo. This isn't my garden. There's a photo that the lady took. And she had to take it from here because you could not get in. All the brambles were about, about that high. And the whole garden was completely chock-a-block full of brambles. 
and uh, it's been cleared. I mean, it's just like roots after roots after roots of brambles and God knows where I like to see them there. Look, so uh, brambles, brambles. This is start. That's all I'm doing is just digging out brambles. So it's a massive difference. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've got a photo of the tree that was there. I took a massive branch off there and a few others here, lift, lifted it a bit and that tree is so much better. Uh, cut some dead off that tree, so. Oh, best laid plans. Right, okay, here's my garden update. Now I've done a few of these now because I got those off a client the other day and I put them across there because I've got foxes who keep coming in and digging up, hence the reason why I've got patches all over my lawn. So today is going to be the first day I time I cut this lawn. Uh, I'll show you what I've done. Uh, it's not anywhere near finished. It's just a mess at the moment. It's really windy. This fence is temporary because of foxes. Okay, so I'll explain what I've been doing. Uh, this half here, which is coming on all right, I dug this over a few weeks ago, seeded it and uh, then we had a really hot weather and I've been working quite busy so couldn't do this until a couple of weeks ago, I think it was about two weeks ago I did this and um, you can see the grass is starting to come through, obviously I'm not going to be cutting this, I'm going to have to try and get my mower over it. This area I want to put some slabs down but I haven't done that yet because I haven't got the slabs. You see where the blooming fox have been digging? and been digging up all over and I'm having to try and do everything I can to prevent them from doing that hence the reason why there's holes in there so I should give that a mow over get rid of all the leaves and uh, see where we're at across there I've got uh, five uh, lengths of picket fence which will stop around there uh, those compost bins I want to put across in that sort of direction so the only way to get over to the other side of the garden which is through there would be across the lawn and eventually I might put some stepping stones on the lawn I don't really want to walk on it but I'm going to have to because I'm going to have to mow the lawn so and through here eventually I shall have like a wild garden area I'm only doing this one day a week and it's like a few hours it's, it's three o'clock now three o'clock in the afternoon uh, and it's took me two hours just to get five um, pieces of trellis uh, which was originally what I was going to put across there but uh, it's not trellis, it's picket fence because uh, trellis was the original idea to put across there, trellis but I've got picket fences, it's basically what's there now but it's proper fencing and I shall put it uh, just before that post so you can see, hang on, I'm pointing not looking on the camera it'll be along there, the picket fence and stop around there and I'll put a double fence a double post like that there going upwards and build myself an archway and across there I might put some more picket fence but again as I say I'm going to put the compost bins in a row like that instead um, I'll have a little gate there I'll put a gate up there eventually path there this will be grown this will be grown I've got a great big swing there to put somewhere I'm debating whether to put it on the bark or whether to plant up this is originally going to be like a massive bed and I thought I'll bark chip it instead so I've got a lot to do today I've got all these bags of compost to sort out bloody foxes are digging through it I've got uh, my compost heap there that needs uh, sorting out as you can see I've got a lot of stuff that really is just lying around and needs all this junk here is going to be moved to back there out the way so I can start tidying up this area the table that table that table there and that table there was given to me so I'll keep that one because it's not too bad and ditch this one I might put it up there for now the water butt I'm going to keep there uh, the bin I'm going to keep down here the blue barrel will go up there because I might turn that into a compost tumbler and obviously tools and bags and rubbish and stuff will go up there so that's where I am I'm going to go and get my picket fence and uh, see if I can start laying it out and to what to do I might, mow the, I might mow the lawn first, I think that might be the better idea. I'll have to remove this fence, temporary fence first, give it a mow over and then see where we are. And then I'll go back once I'm done, if I get done. I doubt it. Three o'clock, two hours. <laughs> 